Hi, I'm Rachel. I just bought this cute Rode Wireless 2 Go microphone set. The, the receiver is on the camera over there and I have the two transmitters here. Basically, you clip one on, on here to speak. So I recorded an entire video this morning and I went to download the audio file on my computer with Rode Connect and I couldn't find my files anywhere. I looked and looked, I tried out all kinds of things. I watched a lot of YouTube videos to no avail. Finally, I factory reset my all of my devices and guess what? I still couldn't find my audio files. So I did what you would do, I called Rode Customer Support. And you know what the solution was? I'll show you. Let's go over to my computer and I'm gonna show you what happened and how to fix it. And then you know what I have to do after that? I have to record my entire video again because who wants to watch a talking head that talks without audio matching it? The first thing I need to do is to get the Rode Central app. So I'm going to go to Rode.com, download it for Mac, and we're going to have to configure it. Let's see, wait for the download to finish, and then double click here. All right, let's, oops, where did it go? Okay, there it is. Welcome to Rode Central. Let's pretend I'm reading the license agreement. Go scroll to the bottom, click continue. I agree and install. I have to type in my little password. Wait for it to configure. All right, it's successful. Let's close. I want to now open Road Central. All right, let's go down to Finder window to Applications. Find Road Central, scroll down here, where is it? I already have Road Connect, you don't need that right now. Double click on Road Central, and up comes Road Central. It says, please connect a Road device to get started. Okay, I've gotta connect them. They've been charging, they're nice and charged now, so let's turn it on, push the power button, and the receiver turned on, and now let's push the power button on the transmitter, and turn it on as well. The blue battery light is not blinking anymore, so I know it's fully charged. And if I click the bottom right button, the box appears around that. It came up on channel one. So I've got channel one and it's ready to go. It says, please connect a Rode device. Oh, it came through. Look, my receiver appeared in Rode Central. Now, where is the channel one? There it is, my transmitter appeared as well. So I'm gonna click there. That's where the files are supposed to be. Down there it says I have my other device. So those are the two devices. And I'm looking, let's go back to the transmitter. It says no recordings available. What do you mean? I know I've recorded an entire, like so many things. Where are my files? Uh oh. What am I gonna do? I don't see them here. Uh, oh dear. All right, let's do a factory reset. You can see from the video I just showed you that there were no audio files. I mean, where were they? I have no idea. When I called Road Support, this was the solution. He said, go to system settings. And he said, go to privacy and security and then find full disk access. And we did not have Road Central or Road Connect added to this. You only need to add Road Central right now. And he said to hit the plus button and add Road Central to this. When you do that, I typed in Road Central and this popped up and I also added in Road Connect. And then it said that it needed to restart the Road app, which it did. And then whenever it came back on, I reconnected my transmitter and lo and behold, the files were there. So I'm going to show you now when I connect it, I just did this recording for you guys and I'm gonna connect it as I'm talking here. I'm gonna to have to push stop on my recording. I'm gonna connect it and see what happens. And now I'm recording on device number two and look, there it is. This is what comes up and you can see down here, there are my two files that I recorded today as I was just talking with you. And when you want to export them to your hard drive, you can select all or to a, a flash drive or to an external drive, select them all, push export and find where you want to export them to. And I'm going to expect, export them over here. And let's export to the Rode Wireless and say yes, export in progress. Close. And now 
I want to delete these. I do not want to keep storing these on my microphone. So I am going to hit this little gear icon for settings. And you see this um, is shows here how many hours remaining. Well, these are actually showing the files that I have used and I'm going to hit the trash button and that's going to delete them. Delete it, I, you can't undo this action. Yes, I'm going to delete it. Okay, now the one of the wireless go to transmitters has been completely deleted and the one that I'm currently talking on, that's the one now that I'm going to plug in and I'm going to download the audio files and then I will have completed this video. That's all there is to it. If you have any questions, please let me know down in the comments below and I'll see if I can answer it. Thanks. I hope this video will help you if you have the same problem that I had. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.